what looks like a period of active weather is going to be continuing over the next few days or so. Then it changed to a much colder weather pattern as we head toward the end of the weekend and into the first part of next week. Do have some watches, warnings, and advisories in effect. Anywhere you see the purple shading, these are all winter weather advisories, covers Yellowstone as well as the Azorcas, Jackson Valley as well as the Star Valley. Another one here across the West Slopes, the Big Horns. Now we did make one change this morning. We upgraded the uh, advisory to a warning across the uh, Tetons, some very heavy snow in some of those areas. Grand T Target Ski Resorts picked up 16, 17 inches of snow already tonight. Could see another maybe 9 to 10 inches as we head through the day today, so very heavy snow out in that area. These are expected winds as we head through tonight. These aren't the strongest winds in the world. You can see some gusts to 40. You could see some gusts maybe to 45, 50 down here across Rock Springs, also around Kenmore. Now you combine that with this, which is the expected snowfall. Now this starts at 5 or 6 o'clock today, so whatever you have on the ground when you wake up, and then add to this. Jackson 3, could see locally 4 inches there. Heaviest amounts to Tetons, could see an additional 6 to 12 inches there. About another 4 to 5 across the Star Valley. Anywhere across the west, probably seeing an additional 1 to 2 inches. Now as we shift our attention east of the divide, you see the heaviest area there, Buffalo has been snowing lightly there all morning. But just about anyone in this area could see some snow showers during the day today. Now in this area, especially in here, this will be more of the banded variety of snow. It's very hard to nail down exactly where that's going to happen. So one place could pick up an inch or two, go five miles away, there might not be anything. So anywhere in this area, just watch out. There could be some slick roads if you run into one of those snow bands. Now this is only through Saturday. Now what we expect, there'll be a bit, little bit of a low out west as we head through uh, tonight into the first part of Saturday. But from Saturday all the way through Sunday, looks like another storm system coming in. Could be an additional amount of snow here. So we'll be measuring the snow on top of these mountains probably in the feet range as well. It could be an increasing avalanche danger as well as we get through the weekend, so keep an eye out for that. And uh, east of the divide, most of the snow is going to fall across the northern areas, anywhere from, say, Cody over toward Grable. Buffalo will be a boundary set up right across this area. Could pick up one to three inches of snow. But just about anybody in this area could see a snow shower, especially as you head towards Sunday and the cold front drops southward. And speaking of cold, these are low temperatures on Tuesday morning. It's been a very mild winter so far for many areas, especially east of the divide. You see low temperatures falling into the teens below zero. Now a lot depends on how it snow falls. You get more snow than expected, this could actually be a little bit lower. And it gets even colder as we head toward Wednesday morning. Ugh, makes my teeth chatter. Just think about these uh, low temperatures here. You see low temperatures in the minus 15 range across the north. Just about anyone east of the divide should see low temperatures below zero. Now the good news is if you don't like cold weather, you're west of the divide. Looks like the mountains are kind of shielded there. So some chilly temperatures here, but just nothing out of the ordinary for February. Here's our resources for weather, road conditions, and our webcams by route. Be safe, everybody. Have a great weekend.